to Baking of a Musical. I've got Stuart Thomas here today from Talent Dance TV. Hello um, everyone, sorry I'm a bit knackered from working, but I can't make me too tired during this. <laughs> and we're, we're just going to be discussing ideas on dance and choreography, so I'm going to show um, Stuart a little bit now of the opening number. He's going to be laughing his head off because this is like 1994 um, when we did this. It's very, very old. It's 1994. This is the original encounters. It's good to see you still got like the original video from from 1994. <laughs> yeah, this is on YouTube. And um, but I'm go basically what we're talking about is what we're going to do with some of the songs, uh, some of the dances. So that was the opening number. So I'm going to bring up on Sibelius now. Uh, the opening number, so um, we can basically have a look at. Um... <clears throat> so. I wrote the whole thing, okay. um, but I had um, a guy called Paul Lightning. Paul Lightning. Yeah. This is it. You so a guy called yeah. Paul Lightning, and then. Uh, and then I gave it to a piano player. It's it's gone through, you know, a few different. Um, do you know what I mean? People. <laughs> Resurrections, Re people. Renditions. <laughs> Renditions. <laughs> so you, what you have is you have the characters coming on. Right, let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Okay. So you've got like the characters sitting there by the bar. And then you've got like clicks. The beginning is like clicks where they're lifting a drink or something. And then one of them's Sibelius. Sibelius. Yes, Sibelius is um, a program, a music program, oh, okay. where you can compose and stuff like that. So, oh, okay. so they, as this goes along, it develops, as you can see, a little bit in the opening number. Um, this has got to be really empowering because it, it's the main number. And then you've got the girls singing, and then we've created harmonies, obviously, with the singers. So why, why is it called Encounters? It's called Encounters because it's like a club where people meet, and it's also because Encounters is all about encountering people, okay. meeting people, so it's about relationships and, you know, encountering people. So most of the singing, it's just a bit of choreography with the singing, obviously. But this now develops into a really, really like a crazy rock kind of dance break. And this is the dance, okay? Dance. So you have like the dancing, like kind of like. Um, quite fast. So that's the bit where I would like to have a look at. Yeah. People do like it goes wild, yeah. Tricks. It's um, a bit of rock and roll, kind of rock and roll and swing really. And then it goes back to singing again. Do you see what I mean? So it's quite catchy. It's quite a catchy number, and people really, really enjoy the opening number. Uh, but as I say, this has progressed now uh, into a in a bit. It's a it's a bit different, and it needs proper choreography. So basically, the, the bit. What would you say do with the bit in the middle? You got any ideas? Uh, have to listen to it again. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically what I would do is obviously I would send you the whole song yeah. and then ask you to think about with um, one of your guys or girls that can choreograph 
to come up with a little bit of a movement around it. Just maybe we'll get some dances together. Um, it's got to be from Ram Bucks Bucks Middlesex. Or you could film them, it doesn't really matter if you're going somewhere else. You could film them somewhere else with that piece of music. And then they c it can be put into the documentary. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you another, now I'm going to show you another YouTube clip. Okay, go for it. <laughs> two, two, one, two, three, and... Yeah, we did it in 1994. So you've got Encounters, the opening number, then I showed you Sam the Man. Um, basically, we, what we just saw was uh, David Stinson from David Stinson Music Schools uh, took a group of people and he choreographed that little bit with the girls. Um, and the story behind that is basically Sam is the flirt. He <laughs> thinks he's the man, you know. Sam if you listen to the, um, yeah. I'm going to put, when you see the actual, um, we saw a little bit of choreography and harmonies, but now we're going to see a little bit of um, the group singing. Some of, it was actually Martin, I think, my husband. <laughs> Martin played it in the original. What, Sam? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello, my name is Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. I specialize in smoking cessation, weight loss, phobia release, stress management, and hypnobirthing. I can do a free assessment via the phone, via Skype, or face-to-face -face at any time. So that's Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. Looking forward to your call now. You can also find me on my Facebook page, which is Martin Oswell Hypnotherapy. So before what we watched was Sam's song, um, which has got lots of um, uh, choreography 
and dance in it and the music, I'll just play the music for you. Um, Sam basically thinks he's it. Is he it though? He, no, uh, he's well, not, is no he, not he isn't. <laughs> the women can't stand him. But the, a, a nice little love affair does develop yeah. between... Um, um, so um, I'll just play a little bit of it. So he's kind of saying to... Look, at the girls are crazy for me. Watch me, I'm Sam the man. <laughs> I think, I think all us guys get like that at some point. <laughs> cutie, hey there cutie, look what I got for you. You gotta come out here to me, cause I'm dying to give you something. I mean, it's very sort of... Uh, you, can't, sad, you, make sad. The music, you make the music as I well? I Music, yeah. the lyrics. Everything, yeah. yeah. Lots, yeah. So you can play piano too? No. I, no, I didn't play the piano. Oh. This is James Church. As I say, it's been through oh, a few different <laughs> reincarnations. But uh, this particular one was James Church. Um, he created the score yeah. based on the song. And then we went on and changed it around a bit. So basically, it's just choreographing this character, Sam. Yeah. Uh, giving him a dance, you know, he's, well, dance full of he's like kind of Martin playing well, the Energy and sound. confidence. <laughs> My husband, he, yeah. um, I wrote it for him actually, because he's well, funny. Martin's a very funny actor. Yeah, well, what's what Sam need? An energy and confidence dance. Yeah, huge amount of energy, he doesn't care about anything. He puts on this really strong, like nobody can get near me kind of character. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and the girls kind of say to him, what the hell, you know, I'm not, you know, who the hell do you think you are? I'm not interested in you. Um, but he, but he, secretly they are. <laughs> no, they're not. No. <laughs> but then at some point he says something really nice. And Sharon, one of the main characters, thinks, oh, he is nice. <laughs> so they have um, another song, which is called, uh, which is The Girl Like You. Um, it goes into a, um, when him and he invites her to go out. With him. So basically, this is Sam the Man. So this is Sam the Man. I'm just giving you a general so how, how idea. How hard is it to come up with like a <laughs> musical piece? I wrote it in my in-laws garden the year before I got married. The oh, whole okay. thing just came to me. The whole because thing just to came to me. Songs, just right? I wrote everything, the whole musical, and then I added in another one. I cut one out and I added in another one. Right, so I'm going to move on now to um, the next one. So basically what you've got is you've got Sam the Man, which is very sort of salsa. Again, salsa. I've got to write this down. Sam Salsa. It's kind of salsa. Da, da, no. da, 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 da. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit kind of salsage. Encounter is the it's a big uh, like a big band number with swing and dancing, um, swing and dancing, you know what I mean? Swing, <laughs> lifting people up and throwing them all over the yeah. place. Uh, and then you've got the ballet. Every it's got everything in it. The only thing I haven't got is, is rap and and hip hop. Hip hop. I haven't yeah. found anywhere yet. But that could go into the finale. Because the finale is going to be a huge dance number, so you could put hip hop in there, definitely. Yeah. Um, and then um, we've got Sam, Sam the Man. Now, what I'm going to show you now is um, is uh, without you, um, uh, let me see, without you is a song that the three girls sing, and they have a tap dance in here. So, so you, so got, they you want to put on like all the classic old jazz, well, all the old like, stage styles basically, so like salsa. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Well, it was Ruffle. written in the 90s, so yeah. Ruffle. It's a, a really good mixture of rock and yeah. roll. So without you goes into tap. Uh, it'll come on eventually. This is the song. It's the three girls sing it together, you know. I'm, the sun will still shine even though you're not there kind of thing. And it's got three harmonies as well, so um, I just want to turn the sound up a bit. You didn't 
stop the world from turning So I sing in the one without you do, 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 do. Have you ever heard of the Andrew sisters? No, I haven't heard Well, in the Second World War there were three sisters and they used to sing three, three harmonies together Well, that's how this develops in, with the harmonies Yeah, it's the Andrew sisters The Andrew sisters, yeah <laughs> So, this is tap as I say today, I'm just giving you a general idea of some of the music and what dances, because that's where you come in, you want to sing. I can, I can imagine tap being in this. Yeah, definitely. Well, the, there is a tap. <laughs> As we keep going, you're going to get to the tap bit. I should actually do like that. Yeah. This is where they do the harmony. Um, the whole musical is on video. We did it in 90, 94. We performed oh, still got a video. 95. The year after I got married, we performed it. Yeah, it was adapted to a DVD, so it's there somewhere. And you can actually see what we did with it. So we did have, we had a tap here. As you hear, we'll go into it now. So you have the click. Da, da, da. It starts to go really fast. I don't know if people could tap as fast as this, but there you go. Ah, you, you can find someone who knows fast than this. That's tap. So you've got three girls, the three main characters, and they will be doing a tap dance to that. And it's fun. It's all fun. And then they go back to singing again. So that's without you. Here with Stuart from Talent Dance TV, and we're having a listen to the music from Encounters the Musical. Hi everyone. <laughs> um, on this lovely sunny day here in Homer Green, we're looking for you guys. We need dancers, singers, um, anybody who wants Talented to be involved. People. Talent, 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 talent to be involved in this documentary that we're making, and then we're going to make a TV series called Encounters, so you'll all know what the story is about as we get closer, because I'll tell you a little bit as we go on through the documentary. So um, if we have a look, we're going to have a look at Without You again, which is um, a tap dance. Um, so I just need to go back a bit, and bring because we were talking about the tap dance and the Andrews sisters. Uh, Tell everyone <laughs> who the Andrews sisters are, they might not know. The Andrews sisters were around in the Second World War and they used to do singing like Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me You know, stuff like that and the boogie woogie woogie boy All that sort of stuff <laughs> So, um... So after this, the tap dance is going to come in This is Without You, it's a storyline where Elaine and Sharon and Amy so what are they all doing? left without their boyfriends. What, what would they be doing before the tap dancing? <laughs> Saying they would be drinking champagne and celebrating the fact that they oh, don't right. need men. Yeah, they don't need men. <laughs> it's a whole big scene. not be true. <laughs> <laughs> and then, well, afterwards, you know, they're not happy. They're not really happy. So this is tap dance a bit. Yeah, this goes into the tap dance and this is what we wanted to talk about a little bit. So we're looking for people looking tap dance. Yeah, that's a rare talent to have, tap dance. <laughs> Let me turn the sound up a bit. So basically, they dance around. See me, I'm free, I'm happy, I don't need anyone, I'm drunk. I'm Laura high on life. It, she got a bad knee at the moment. So. <laughs> I can't have that. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have it covered. <laughs> so this is basically without you, okay? And then it goes back into the song. So without you, as I said, what it is, is you've got a massive scene where there's this beautiful ballad called Heaven to Me, where the girls sing in gorgeous harmonies. Yeah. <laughs> you have Elaine, Sharon and Amy. Those are the three main girls, right? Elaine, Sharon, Elaine, Sharon and Amy. Amy. And they're all very, very different. And uh, Elaine's got her story, Sharon's got her story, Amy has hers. You'll find out more as we go, go on. But basically, all the, they, they're without their men at the moment. Um, 
and so they did this thing called Heaven to Me where they miss them so much and they can't, I, if he was here it would be Heaven to Me and then they say, hang on a second, this isn't what I want to do, I want to be happy, you know and they go into Without You which is a really nice little clever little dance number with tap dancing so that's Without You okay um, so we're going to go into the next one we're going to have a look at. We're basically looking at the songs that have dances in Encounters. Right, we've got the murder song. The murder song? <laughs> the murder what song. What dancing <laughs> <laughs> Right, the murder song is Elaine, well, Elaine's boyfriend Mike comes back. Again, this is, as I say, part of it. She hasn't seen him for years and years and years. And he comes back and he wants to, he basically wants to get back with her. And she makes his life a misery. So she basically sings the murder song of what she'd really like to do with him. And you have, um, it's very comical, it's very much fun. The female dancers are dressed like devils and they're dragging him around and, you so know, and punishing act acting him. Acting bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you have yeah. to have some choreography around that. Dancing so, devils. Dancing little devils. Yeah, dancing so basically, devils. Elaine. Elaine's singing is very, it's very comical. That's the end of the song, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to read the beginning. Okay. Lay alone in bed, tossing and turning, my pillow by my head, reflecting on my life and how to make ends meet. Shaking and shivering from my head down to my feet Trying to brush away the tears and the pain Life without you darling will never be the same Suddenly I hit upon a plan Which makes me feel much better than I am I see you hung, drawn and quartered and skewered over a fire that would be something to refuel my desire hanging from a noose on a big old apple tree guess you cooked your goose when you said goodbye to me anyway she conjures up all these ways to get rid of it <laughs> uh, like the guillotines uh, as, him to death. as I applaud the jailer that will never set you free I can close my eyes and sleep so peacefully. Do dum, do 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 dum, do dum. Anyway, on the do 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 dum do dums, and it goes on. She goes on and on and on, and then at some point, it can be done like a film where you're watching all the girls take him and drag him and put him on a guillotine. It's very very funny, very very funny, comical. The whole musical is full of fun full of laughter, full of joy, but we have got um, depression in there. We have depression in there. The um, Sharon, is, mm -hmm. Sharon is, has, gets very, very seriously depressed and the end of Act 1 is when she is actually holding a bottle of pills in her hand. I'm not telling you what happens because that will spoil the fun. <laughs> Sounds very serious there. <laughs> um, so that was the murder song. So the murder song, you've got, uh, it goes doom, do doom, do 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 doom, do doom, doom, do doom. So it's really silly. Da 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 So it's a really silly little dance or something with the girls. Now we get to the exciting bit with, um, uh, we have a fun night out for the boys. And in this fun night out, um, you have um, Nick is going in the army. Okay, again, another character, Nick. You'll get to know all these characters. You just have to watch it a few more times to get it. So you got to stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. You get Nick. to know everybody. Right, Nick is Learned going awful. in the army. And so, he is going to have a stag night. A stag night. And where is this? <laughs> Probably with other arrangers. This hasn't, I haven't looked at this since 2011, guys. So please, please be patient with me. Anyway, so we have a bit of a strip, uh, which I'm not sure it's here. 
no, it's not here. But anyway, <laughs> I have got that. And at some point, we will go into that. So it's da 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 da, you know, with the saxophones, very like um, the strip song. Da 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 da. Kind of goes into. It's called the fun night. And ah, hang on, there's the fun night. It should go here. It should, we should have it here. Okay, the fun night. Basically, it's a, a, a boys' night out. Well, and the fun. girls are going to be dressed in um, little um, shorts and tops that look like army. Because he's going in the army. So I've already figured yeah. out um, the costumes. Um, so it's like a send-off party for him. <laughs> yes, exactly. Nick is going in the army, so we need to send him off. And for some reason... What year is this sitting, by the way? Uh, okay, it was... Well, originally it was 1993. Then it was 2007. So probably the 2000s. Okay. Around the time when you had Afghanistan and Iraq and stuff like that happening. Well, Afghanistan mainly. Uh, okay, so we can actually look at that at the moment. Ah, oh, there it is. I don't know why this isn't opening, um, but there you go, loving computer. I don't know if I can open the other ones at the moment, so I'm just going to talk about them. Let's see, what have we got here? Try again. Well, as I'm talking to you, um, this is a new musical called, uh, well, it's a new musical. It was written in 1993. Um, by myself. I wrote it in my gar in the garden, in my in-laws garden just before I got married and I decided to write the one of the characters, Sam, for my husband who was very funny. I wanted to write a character for him and I played the lead part of Elaine and we all went on, got friends together, I don't know, just put leaflets everywhere and we got a cast. Everyone just came through. Uh, everyone came through and we sold good, it. Good, good. It was a load of fun. Where did you not perform this then? We perform. Where did I look? No, where did you perform it in the? We end? performed at the Compass Theatre in Ickenham. Where's that? It, it's, it's a oh, really Nickenham. nice little theatre near Uxbridge. Oh, 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 Ickenham. Yeah. oh yeah, I, I know you're on about. In that. Ickenham. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a problem at the moment with bringing up um, the songs here, um, so no. I'm going to cut for a minute.